The Webb Telescope is revolutionizing our understanding of the universe by identifying objects dating back to the Dark Ages, an early period shortly after the Big Bang, when the first stars and galaxies began to take shape. The first stars formed in the universe. And we can actually do this because light takes time to travel to us because it travels at a set speed limit. So as we look back at more distant and more distant objects, we're seeing them as they were when the universe was much younger. Recent data indicates that some of these objects are large, fully developed galaxies, a discovery that has taken scientists by surprise and raises important questions about cosmic evolution. The speed and precision with which the Webb Telescope collects such data surpasses any Thing we have experienced before, suggesting that many long-held records regarding galaxy formation and evolution may soon be rewritten. If there is any doubt regarding the significance of these findings, it would be enlightening to witness the enthusiasm in the room filled with scientists, astrophysicists, cosmologists, and astronomers who grasp the profound implications these images have on our perception of the cosmos. The universe is a vast expanse filled with enigmas, with its distant past presenting some of the most compelling compelling mysteries. Key questions arise. How did the first galaxies form? How did they evolve over time? And what insights do they provide regarding the origin and fate of the universe itself? NASA's Webb Telescope is on a mission to uncover these mysteries by delving into the deepest, darkest corners of space. What Webb Telescope has uncovered is nothing short of astonishing. It has detected 10 galaxies that could be older than the universe itself. This audacious claim challenges conventional wisdom. We don't need an extensive introduction to the Webb Telescope. It's groundbreaking discoveries became apparent to the public in June 2022 when it captured its first deep field image, showcasing an astonishingly long exposure of a small patch of sky. This image unveiled the faintest and most distant galaxies ever observed as they emerged from the cosmic darkness. With each passing moment, galaxies began to flicker into view across the tapestry of time and space, revealing their hidden secrets. Among its findings, the Webb Telescope has identified approximately 10 additional galaxies that may predate the famous Macy's Galaxy, named by Austin astronomer Stephen Finkelstein after his daughter as it was discovered on her birthday. This particular galaxy was initially estimated to have formed only 290 million years after the Big Bang, making it the oldest galaxy ever recorded. However, further analysis with advanced instruments revealed that Macy's Galaxy is in fact nearly 100 million years older than initially thought, with the formation date now placed around 190 million years after the Big Bang. For context, the universe is believed to be approximately 13.77 billion years old. While Macy's galaxy currently holds the title for the oldest galaxy observed, new findings indicate it may not be alone in this distinction. But how can astronomers accurately determine the age of these ancient galaxies? Furthermore, how did these discoveries threaten to upend existing scientific theories and cosmological models? To tackle these pressing inquiries, we must first understand the technology behind the Webb Telescope and how it fundamentally differs from older telescopes like the Hubble Space Telescope, enabling it to capture such unprecedented cosmic phenomena. The Webb Telescope is a groundbreaking achievement in science and engineering. Its 6.5 meter primary mirror gathers more light than any previous telescope, while its four infrared instruments allow it to study the universe in ways no other observatory can. Positioned at the second Lagrange point, Webb orbits the Sun in step with Earth, avoiding interference from our planet's atmosphere and heat. Infrared observations are vital for studying the earliest galaxies, whose light has been stretched or redshifted as the universe expands. Redshift describes how light shifts toward longer, redder wavelengths when objects move away from us. The greater the redshift, the farther and older the galaxy. Using photometry, measuring light intensity through a few broad filters, Webb estimates the redshift and age of these ancient galaxies. Remarkably, Webb has detected galaxies older than previously known, some dating back only a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. As Fabio Petrucci of Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics noted. Massive galaxies seem to have appeared faster than expected. This is surprising because such galaxies formed while the universe was still hot, dense, and just beginning to light up with its first stars. These galaxies are extraordinarily compact, 
billions of solar masses, comparable to the Milky Way, but squeezed into volumes about 30 times smaller. A research group at Swinburne University of Technology in Australia identified some of the first examples of this class. They found galaxies about 750 million years after the Big Bang that were 10 to 100 times more massive than those previously observed in this era, yet still tightly packed into small structures. Even more astonishing, these galaxies appear to host far more stars than theory predicts. Such discoveries pose a challenge to the standard cosmological model. According to current theory, galaxies form within halos of dark matter, an invisible substance that makes up most of the universe's mass. Normal matter falls into these halos, where stars and galaxies gradually form. Small galaxies should appear first, merging over billions of years into larger ones. Yet, Webb Telescope's findings reveal enormous, bright galaxies appearing far earlier than expected, suggesting that our current understanding of cosmic evolution and possibly the physics of the early universe may need to be revised. The team not only uncovered more distant G galaxies, the brightest and most massive galaxies in the early universe, but also identified Milky Way-like galaxies at the cosmic frontier that, according to current physics, shouldn't exist. These discoveries highlight the diversity and complexity of galaxies when the universe was only a fraction of its present age. Many of the galaxies Webb observed were filled with glowing gas, so luminous that it sometimes outshone the stars themselves. This intense glow signals that these galaxies were undergoing rapid star formation, producing new generations of stars from primordial gas. Observations now show that nearly 90% of early galaxies displayed extreme emission features, meaning they were dominated by this glowing gas. These shimmering, gas-rich galaxies define the universe around 2 billion years after the Big Bang. Among them, one galaxy stood out, Ceres 2112, a spiral galaxy strikingly similar to our Milky Way. Astonishingly, when the universe was only 2 billion years old, this galaxy already had a bar of stars and gas cutting across its center. Galactic bars are typically seen as a marker of stability and maturity, funneling gas inward and triggering bursts of star formation. Until now, astronomers believe such structures emerged much later, once galaxies had fully matured. Hubble's earlier surveys suggested that barred galaxies were rare in the early universe. Webb's discovery of Ceres 2112 overturns this view, showing that Milky Way light galaxies already existed nearly 12 billion years ago, when the universe was just 15% of its current age. Observed at a redshift of 3, the light from Ceres 2112 traveled almost 12 billion years before reaching Webb. This challenges the standard cosmological model, which predicts that the early universe's conditions should have prevented barred spirals from forming. Even advanced computer simulations struggled to reproduce such systems at that epoch. Traditionally, scientists have attributed galaxy formation to the influence of dark matter, which makes up about 85% of the universe's mass, but does not interact with light. Dark matter halos are thought to shape galaxies by pulling in gas and stars, guiding their growth over billions of years. Yet Webb's data revealed that in the case of Ceres 2112, ordinary matter, not dark matter, played the dominant role in galaxy evolution when the universe was just 2 billion years old. This discovery is remarkable not only because of Ceres 2112 structure, but also because of its composition. The fact that baryonic matter drove its evolution challenges current theories and suggests other factors such as gas dynamics, star formation, and stellar feedback may be more important in some cases than dark matter. It also raises profound questions. How common are Milky Way-like galaxies in the distant universe? Do they force us to rethink the role of dark matter in galaxy formation? The answers could reshape our understanding of cosmic evolution. For now, Webb continues to astonish astronomers, delivering breakthrough discoveries almost daily. In light of this, scientists are of the opinion that Webb could soon solve mysteries of the Milky Way. At the heart of the Milky Way lies a region that has fascinated astronomers ever since they first traced its glittering spiral arms. 
Understanding what drives the growth and transformation of such immense, star-filled structures could help explain the extraordinary diversity of galaxies we see across the universe. An estimated two trillion, each with its own size, shape, and composition. The Milky Way's center is unique. It is the only galactic core where astronomers can study individual stars in detail. The more we uncover about our own galaxy, the more insight we gain into the process that is shaping galaxies throughout the cosmos. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe and hit the notification bell for more of such videos.